The negative history of African Americans had a significantly strong impact on an immeasurable number of lives, which had been shown through the paintings of the Harlem Renaissance. Through the suffering that African Americans had to go through, the belief of sharing negative history was created and shown through paintings that have originated from that time. For starters, African American men and women were never treated as actual people in the United States to begin with. Between when they were brought to America in 1619 and the end of the Civil War in 1865, Virginia passed more than 130 slave statutes to regulate the ownership of black people. They were not treated with the respect they deserved and were not given the right to their own body and soul. They were seen as property to be owned instead of lives to be cherished. Paintings during the Harlem Renaissance portray these values that were held during that time period by showing imagery of slavery and symbolisms of oppression that African Americans had to face. The reason why the Harlem Renaissance came to be is because of the discrimination against African Americans. And through not only these paintings, but other art forms as well, the Harlem Renaissance radically redefined how people of other races viewed African Americans and understood the African American experience. The paintings and other art forms being created had become an outlet for African Americans to share their own experience with discrimination and oppression, but doing it in a way to take back their lives embrace their true selves, and celebrate the heritage. These paintings are a symbolism of a weight being lifted off the shoulders of African Americans from years on top of years of discrimination. All of the heartbreaking and devastating feelings coming from the negative experiences they had to face are being poured onto paper with brushes and paint. The raw emotion coming out of such a tragic part of history was relinquished into the world during the period of the Harlem Renaissance with these paintings which goes to show how the negative history of African Americans is shown through them. The history behind these paintings makes the message so much stronger and the emotion irrevocably eye-opening. The paintings of the Harlem Renaissance shows the negative history of America against African Americans by expressing to others the suffering African Americans went through throughout the history of America. One example of this is the painting The Underground Railroad by Hill Woodruff that is filled with bright colors, but the message behind it is quite dark. The painting depicts the Underground Railroad and how it is necessary in a time where African Americans had no rights in the South, so they had to travel to the North. However, in this painting, the African American slaves on the run were found by white men only a half a mile from their freedom. Woodruff expresses the dark negative history of slaves and the suffering they went through just so that they could live their own life. Just looking at the man in the green shirt and pink pants shows the total annihilation of hope, free, of freedom from two white men that craved money over the rights of and humanity of everyone. You can even see a carriage being pulled to the ship that these, Amer these slaves were trying to get to, yet the people in the carriage aren't being gathered up like a herd of chickens so that men can get money from them. The people in the carriage, probably white Americans, are free to go anywhere and do whatever they want without the freedom of being with the, about the freedom of being without that freedom being taken away from them. How is that right for these African Americans? They are humans just like us and deserve rights that everyone else has, and that's how Woodruff shows the negative history. Even their paintings of hope um, during the Harlem Renaissance expresses the negative history by showing how African Americans had to overcome it. Another significant part of African American history is the overcoming of negative pasts that they had to suffer through. The fact that African Americans had to, to fight to have rights shows how negatively they had it, since they should have had equal rights just like every other white American since the minute this country became a country. Aaron Douglas expresses this through his painting from Re Slavery Through Reconstruction, through the use of progression of history from the left to the right side of the painting. For example, the painting goes from the left side that shows slavery and about a amount of con cotton plants to the right side that shows the Renaissance with um, Harlem Renaissance with musicians expressing their talents and less to no more cotton plants. This shows through years of suffering with slavery and segregation, they still overcame it and spoke out so that they could have the rights that they deserved. The soldiers in the back show how white Americans fought alongside African Americans in so many different wars, yet white Americans still treated them as if they were a lesser species. These men fought for freedom, 
for everyone and white Americans still won't give them the respect and rights they deserved. The painting shows on the left the horrible treatment of being a slave and in the right middle we see a man with broken chains but the shackles are still on him showing that he was free but he still isn't fully respected or given the same rights as everyone else. The fact that American African Americans had to go through so much suffering through so many decades without relief or full respect exposes the need for better change that gives everyone the same empowering rights, respects, and freedoms. My part of the presentation it is on the artwork during the Harlem Renaissance. And the artwork I chose was Judgment Day by Aaron Douglas and Harlem Beauty by Werner Jones. The theme for the Harlem Renaissance has been to never doubt people because of the color of their skin. And for Judgment Day by Aaron Douglas, Aaron Douglas used colors that were purple, yellow, green that combines with overlapping arcs and some zigzags. Each detail on the painting gives meaning of the painting and brings knowledge when you look at the painting. And this style Aaron Douglas uses to his paintings is a style that is unique and it is to show importance of the device that is commonly used in old ancient Egyptian art. Now for Harlem Beauty by Werner, Werner Druiz. This painting was Druiz. This painting was by Druiz when he immigrated to New York City from Germany, which is a crazy travel. And also an important piece is that he was a art student at the time and this very same artwork is from the same year he arrived in New York. This painting pays homage to all African American women and their beauty. This painting was made by a white artist and he worked in circles just outside of Harlem and just like many others he wanted to shine light on the stereotype at the time of black people were fal false and made up a negative narrative convince people that African American people didn't have such talent when it came to artwork with the detail and the meaning. So I picked this painting because I felt like it has a very important, not like the others don't, not like the others aren't important, but this one has a very strong message to it. So that's it. The effects of paintings during the Harlem Renaissance. These paintings inspired future generations to show that they were just as important and talented as white people were. African Americans wanted rights and freedom just like the white people had. They began to express their inequalities in their paintings, which later on led to the removal of Jim Crow laws. Jim Crow laws were laws that were used to enforce racial segregation in America. They were specifically used against African Americans. These laws prevented African Americans from being around white people took away voting rights, and did many more things that made life unequal for African Americans. Paintings expressing African American lives later on helped the removal of Jim Crow laws. In quotes, the post-World War II era was an increase in civil rights activities in African American communities, with a focus on ensuring that African American citizens were able to vote, quoted by history. African Americans were now able to vote and abolish the Jim Crow laws. This now allowed African Americans to live a more equal life to others. As African Americans continued to create pieces of art, the government began to offer jobs for what these people were doing. Many of its artists were employed under the Government's Works Progress Administration program, providing support for African American artists with prominent large-scale commissions by the art story. The government was taking action with rights and also giving jobs to African Americans for their talents. This presents that African Americans were now being beginning to make a difference in the community. Governments realized the skills that these artists had and the deep meaning in their paintings, which led the African Americans and the, the American government to work together on getting African Americans the rights they deserve. As black culture continued to produce pieces of art, people were realizing how poorly they were treated and how much they had to change. This caused the government and other communities to respect and treat African Americans with the respect they deserved. African Americans advanced their generation as time passed and made a significant impact with their paintings during the Harlem Renaissance.